So in this question, we're going to find the x-intercept and then the y-intercept, and then we're going to graph uh, the line using those two points. So basically, um, we'll just make a little table like that, right? So you've got x values and y values. And um, uh, all you have to know is like, like um, so, so the x-intercept is, is wherever the line hits the x-axis. And um, when it hits the x-axis, that means the y value is going to be zero, right? And similarly, if a line hits the... Um, when the line hits the y-axis, notice that the x value is zero, right? So, so the way to do this kind of by algebra is what we do is we plug in zero for x, and we figure out what y is, and then we plug zero in for y, and then we figure out what x is. So, so that's essentially how we set this up. All right, so, um, so when x is zero, uh, the equation is going to look like this. It will be like 2 times 0 minus 4y equals 8. So what I want you all to do is to plug 0 in for x and just press pause on the video and see what you come up with. You should find y equals something, and then you plug that number in here. But press, press pause on the video and, 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 cap, and figure out what this equation ends up being. All right, so I hope you all tried that. Um, so what happens is we just plug 0 in for x, and we get 2 times 0 is 0. So we get 0 minus 4y equals 8. So that's just like negative 4y equals 8, because that just goes away. So we don't even need to write that down, right? It goes away. So y is being multiplied by negative 4. So we have to actually divide to get it on its own. So divide both sides by negative 4. And we get y equals 8 over negative 4. That's positive over negative. Negative 8 over 4 is 2. So y is negative 2. And so that's our first point. Um, do you remember if it's the x-intercept or the y? It doesn't really matter. Just plot it on the graph. It's like x is 0, y is negative 2. That's there, isn't it? Now that, of course, is the y-intercept because it's, touching the y-axis, right? Okay with that? Yes. All right. So we're all, what I want you all to do next is plug 0 in for y in the equation and figure out what you get. So it will be 2x minus 4 times 0 equals 8. So this time we're plugging 0 in for y. So press pause on this video, everyone, and please try this yourself and see what you get. All right, so we'll get, we're getting 2x minus 0 equals 8, which is just 2x equals 8. And now x is being multiplied by 2, so we need to divide by 2, and we get x equals 4. So when y is 0, x is positive 4, right? So we get x is 4, y is 0. So x is 4, y is 0, that's there. See you with that? I am. Um, and so let's see. Okay, this is 4, 0. And that's called the x-intercept because that's where our line is going to hit the x-axis. So we draw the line through these points. Looks like... This, and it hits the y-axis here and the x-axis here. You okay with that? Yes. So um, I can't help going over this because I'm a math teacher, but like, um, I'm going to go this really quickly just to show that, yeah, you can do it the other way, which is to solve for y first. So like 2x minus 4y equals 8. We could have subtracted 2x from both sides, and that gives us negative 4y equals negative 2x plus 8, and then divide everything by negative 4, which gives us y equals positive 1 half x minus 2. And, and here we can see that the y-intercept is negative 2, and we're going over 1, up 2, over 1, oh, sorry, ah. 
we're going over two, up one, over two, up one, over two, up one, and that's our slope of one half. Or you could make a little table, right, and plug in points zero, like uh, two, and so on. And you would get the same thing, right? But this is asking us to use the X and Y intercept technique to get the line. So if you're asked to do that, we got to do it that way. But, but yes, you can do it this way as well. That's perfectly fine, right? 